Joining us from Capitol Hill, Democrat from West Virginia and member of the Armed Services Committee, Senator Joe Manchin, and Republican from Illinois, member of the Committee on Appropriations, Senator Mark Kirk. Gentlemen, I, uh, I, I take you've been listening to the conversation. Joe, we'll start with you. What do you hope to hear from the president tonight? Well, we're hoping, I think we're going to hear a lot about the economy. You know, basically, our economy's uh, improved more so in the last, uh, the last year here than it has in the last eight years, and uh, I think that's something to brag about there's a long way to go because there's a lot of people in the middle that feel left out they have to get engaged we have to make sure they're engaged and we have to put our priorities based on our values uh, so we're gonna hear a lot about that I hope we're hearing about uh, a little bit about fixing the debt uh, and not growing the debt anymore and we would uh, hope that we can start reducing this 18 trillion dollar debt so we got to be careful what we do and how we do it and work in a bipartisan way to get something done and don't just posture ourselves for the 16 election uh, that's what I hope that we do and uh, uh, and avoid from doing. Senator Kirk, it's Willie Geis. What do you make of the president's, let's call it an opening bid that he's already put out there that he'll elaborate upon tonight on tax reform? Uh, they, they say it's to help the middle class, a tax on the wealthy. What do you make of that initial proposal, even if it's not the one that might get through Congress? Well, I'm a little worried if you redistribute income, you'll have less of it. <laughs> okay, so okay. I take it you don't like the idea. <laughs> yeah. That was a nice well, short me, answer. Put you down as a maybe, I'll Senator. Take that check. <laughs> we're, we're, we're still working on him, Willie. We're still working on him. And uh, uh, basically, I think what we'll watch what we laid out. We've seen uh, a little bit of an outline of what the president's going to be doing along those lines of taxation. I think it's, it's very noble to say we want to have two years of education. Our education in West Virginia, an educated person has a better chance for a better job. The bottom line is, I like to see a couple years of service so you earn it too so we got to see if there's some value there but as far as the income disparity and income inequality those are the facts you're entitled to your opinion not just your own facts the facts are that we have a growing disparity of income in, in this uh, country and we've got to change that okay Steve Schmidt well look I you know I think when you, you know the president goes and talks about income disparity let's go look at the Silicon Valley let's go look at the state of California completely under the control of the Democratic Party no place in America with more income disparity than the you know Silicon Valley to the Central Valley of the state of California the you know, Republicans should be for pro-growth economic policies that lift the boat that create economic growth for everybody in the country these tax increase proposals have no chance of actually passing a Republican Congress. This is all kabuki theater tonight. Mark Kirk, um, what are you hoping to hear from the president tonight? What I would like to see is a bipartisan plan to uh, back uh, things like uh, Joe and I have been working on to make sure that uh, we're much more uh, pulling together as a team to reduce the overall debt, just like Joe talked about. Joe, I like. I think Mark and I have talked about this. We'd like to see basically some uh, unity bringing people together. Okay, if we can agree on not growing the debt, maybe starting it downward. And energy policy—it's all in energy policy makes us more secure. Uh, that would be much better. Yep. Uh, foreign policy that makes it safer, and I think energy security makes it safer. All those things there we look for, and we can work together on that. Mark and I have worked together since we've been here over four years ago, and we know that you can build relationships. I, I would here. interrupt with one thing, saying that uh, you know the Senate operates by a set of lunches, and uh, <laughs> Joe and I uh, that are only partisan. Joe and I broke out of that. Uh, we were kind of the uh, lonely caucus yeah. of two bridge builders. <laughs> I love uh, it. That we have our bipartisan lunch. We still have it. Yeah. And yeah. everyone's invited, and sometimes we get a crowd, and sometimes it's just Mark and I. But I you would know say what? it has show been up. growing uh, now that we finally have got uh, the leaders yeah. to agree to uh, one bipartisan lunch. We're going to have one bipartisan a, a today. Month, yeah. Today's our first bipartisan. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that. Bipartisan lunch today. That is, yeah. that is fantastic new go yeah. news, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Joe and Mark, it's always great to see you. Chuck Todd, thank you yes. as well. Steve Schmidt, thank you. Tom Schaller, your book is a stronghold.